do you feel like you're easy to be led? By who? In general. You couldn't lead me. She respects someone who's competent and confident. So what did that mean? If I wasn't showing up in that type of way, that means that's something that I haven't grown into. There are still some women, regardless of the health of a man's leadership, will still not submit. Mm. This is an Iwebu production. Period. One of our favorite podcasts with David Chance and Donnie Wiggins had a recent episode that has gone viral for many reasons. Um, I think it's a great topic to talk about. It falls in the lines of relationships. And so we would love for y'all to check out this clip. I believe what's more powerful than attempting to control somebody is allowing people to be grown ups and seeing what they would do without your interference. Mm, I, if you don't I mind think me it, asking Donnie, oh yeah. do you feel like you're easy to be led? By who? In general. You couldn't lead me. Um, but yeah, I do feel like I'm 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 easy to be led. I'm led every day. D David leads me here in this everything he tells me to do, I do it. In a relationship, I'm led. By my friends, I'm led. By my mother, I'm led. By people who I trust to lead me. I am led for sure. And we also have to dispel that narrative. A woman who has an opinion, a woman who is intelligent and a woman who is not afraid to demonstrate both doesn't equate to a woman who can't be led. People are led by people who they admire, love and respect, right? When the advice makes sense, when the leadership is coming from a pure place, when the environment feels safe, we are okay being led and a man understands that he never has to say, I lead you. He just shows up in his leadership. Mm. <laughs> first of Chances. all, mm. first of all, not, not she stared at him like, hey. and who what's up? You want, you got a rebuttal for that? Yes. <laughs> My favorite part is by who? <laughs> <laughs> he said, do you think you can be led? She said, by who? Not you. Man, um, this is, this is so heavy. Yeah, I think this is lot. so heavy. We have to see the whole video because it was a crazy episode. It was it, nuts. Yeah. I want to lean into what she was talking about, which is, which he asked her, do you think you can be led? And what I think he meant by that is like an assertive woman like herself, a bossed up woman, the one who does not hold her tongue from nobody. Can she be led? And it made me think of the dynamic of us because my wife is assertive. <laughs> she's a, she's a high D on the disc assessment. I'm a low D like she's that person when it comes to it and what some consider an alpha female in some type of way which i don't kind of that is a assertive female she 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 likes to get things done and i will tell you that what she was talking about is real one of the things and the challenges that i had to come about just early in our marriage because i thought just because she was younger than me i thought that i'll be able to tell her hey this will boom 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 and and without showing some fruit in some certain areas. And one thing I had to kind of learn was she had to trust my leadership and she had, she would only trust that, but what I showed her. So I, I want to talk to more of the men who are dealing with a, I guess, a sort of a lady. When I was, I was at a conference about probably about a year ago and we had a breakout men's group and I'm gonna let y'all in a little bit. And we, in this breakout men's group, a lot of brothers were asking some questions. This was locker room, right? Multiple questions was about how do I deal with my alpha wife? All right. I'm like, whoa, alpha energy wife. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. And men just did not know how to do that. And so I think one of the ways that I learned to do this, and if you're dealing with a, a, a wife or you're in a relationship with someone who's a, a bit more assertive, um, who doesn't hold their tongue. And it's not, that doesn't mean that's in a bad way, but it's not, you can't just tell them what to do. You got to give them a good reason. You got to let them know why and all those things. Here's just a few things that I had to learn. Number one is by looking, I had to do some, some personality testing with my wife to go do some deep diving. So number one, you need to become a student of your wife. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had to look at her disc assessment and see, okay, this is what she respects. She respects someone who's competent and confident. What did that mean? If I wasn't showing up in that type of way, that means that's something that I haven't grown into. And I was also able to see this because I understood my track record as well. So I understood what I was and what I wasn't. You have to have a clear view of who you are and what you're not. So I started to work on myself and level up in different areas. Also being one who is more decisive. It's something that I had to work on. I could be one to go back and forth on it. Had to be one who, when she asked me for something, 
okay, here, baby, this is what you should do. And sometimes she would be seeking me on something and I just would not give her an answer on it. So um, that was one. And just becoming more assertive myself, her seeing me and how I function with other people. It's certain things, even something that happened here within the last week that she was commending me on. And it was just basically about myself. I, sometimes I overcommit and I had these passive ways that I'm getting over. Okay. I'm an ex people pleaser. Y'all. Okay. Y'all please pray for me. Okay. I'm getting way better than I was about a year and a half ago, but I was starting to overcommit and I stopped and I said, you know what? I got to cancel that. Yeah. That's not going to happen. I want to do it, but it's more, is this really something that's going to be substantive for me? Yeah. Or is it more because I, I don't want to lose love from them? And if they don't love me no more based off of me saying, hey, we can't do this, then they love a lesser version of me. You mm -hmm. understand? They don't really love who I am today. And so I if I would say this to any man that's dealing with an assertive woman um, who you're wanting to come behind your leadership more and you're wanting to lead them and they kind of have that, that leadership quality as well, be more assertive, work on yourself because there's some reason why you attract that more out of her and she hasn't been able to step back and let you go forward. Is something that you're showing and that's going to be through you growing is the way that you can help her uh become the best version of herself so what do you got to say to the clip babe yeah babe first of all that is so good what you just said oh, thank you. i think that is going to help so many men i have been speaking on this subject for a very long time it's mm -hmm submissiveness and all of that has been always been my most viral reels and people are always like but what if you're a man like talk to the men i'm like y'all i'm not a man so i will never teach a man how to be a man ever i will mm -hmm. never talk to them and be like you need to do this and so for you to even express this in this moment mm -hmm. and talk about the passiveness that men could operate in being the reason why a woman is more assertive and not as likely to follow is mm -hmm. because of a passive man. I think that is such a admirable, commendable, all the things. Can I add one thing to that without you losing your spot? Mm -hmm. Will you? Can you, can you, can you pin it? Go ahead. And a lot of times passivity from a man comes from lack of leadership growing up in the home. Meaning a lot of times he never seen it. Okay. He never seen it. A lot of us that grew up in throughout the nineties, early two thousands and stuff like that. A lot of fathers were not in the home. Okay. Not saying that your daddy wasn't in your life, but he's not there. You're going to pick up more of the traits of what you see daily versus who you see on the weekend or every few months and things of that sort. Meaning yeah. if your mama was primarily who you saw, you going you going those some of those different ways about how your mom was. Now, thank God my mom was kind of different of a woman. She was a assertive woman herself in a ways. But um, there were some traits that I didn't get to see. So I would tell a lot of times, a lot of times those men are probably even dealing with mother wounds that they yeah. need to go deal with in therapy, which I've had to go deal with myself. Yeah. And also find other men who are assertive that you can kind of glean from, from afar or mentorship that can help and guide you and grow in that area that you're weak in. Okay. Because at the end of the day, if you were, if you married or you're in a relationship, especially if you married, you married to her. So you're going to have to figure out how to leave point blank period. And it ain't going to come by beating on your chest and leading. Now I've also tried to do that before in my life back in the, back in the early times that don't work down like that. You got to actually show up and you got to prove it. Yeah, no, I, I think that it's good. They need to hear that because I think that so many men do quickly run to the place like submit. And the Bible says submit regardless. And it's like it, it actually does. It actually does say submit. Like there isn't if he is this, this and that. Mm. If you are this, this, there is no if, ands or buts. But <laughs> <laughs> it does absolutely make it easier for a woman, especially a woman that has been independent and decisive and had to stand her own and do it, you know, like for uh, most women, it makes it way easier when you do see someone thriving in their leadership. It mm -hmm. makes you trust them because, I mean, they, shoot, the Bible says to, to test spirits and judge by mm -hmm. the fruits and all of these things. And I think that's the same in relationships. When you see a man has a track record of making good decisions and he has a track record of leading and empathy and compassion in his leadership and mm -hmm. love in his leadership, integrity <clears throat> in his leadership, it makes it easier for a woman to come behind it. But I think the caveat to this subject is that there are still some women, regardless of the health of a man's leadership, will still not submit. Mm. Um, I think that there is a subject that I always lean into. Um, no matter how healthy your man is, you have to nurture your submissiveness. You have to nurture the ability to follow. You have to nurture the ability to be quiet, even if your quote unquote 
ideas or direction or something feels better in order for your man to even have the ability to grow. Sometimes you got to fall back. And that thing, that fallback game, it has to be nurtured. And so I always speak to the women that say, all I need is a man to come in here and to lead and to show me that he's a good leader. And then I'll become this feminine submissive self. And it's it's not always true, sis. Like there are women that are with great men and literally just don't know how to be quiet. Come on. Like they literally don't know how to fall back. They don't know. And I'm, and this is not a shot. It's like, you don't know how, because you've mm-hmm. never done it. Especially if you are 30, 40 years old and you've just been getting in after mud and working and assertive and deciding. And you cannot think that that's just going to turn off. Come on. And you get in the home and it's just like, oh, nope. Yes. Like, no, that's something that has to be trained. Um, But I do, I do think that um, automatically people assume a woman that is assertive to not be able to submit at all. So that's a, even when he said that in the interview, the guy, I'm like, first of all, what does this have to do with anything? He was just really trying to come for her. Oh, for sure. But it also revealed the insecurity of this man. Because Mm -hmm. um, oftentimes what a man, insecure men will get in a woman's life that is confident, that is sure of herself and try to break her down. And Mm -hmm. it's really the insecurity in that man. And so Mm -hmm. I don't even know where that that subject came from, but I don't agree that assertive women cannot be submissive and Mm -hmm. they cannot be led. I think that it might be a little harder and it has to be nurtured, but it's not impossible, but it does have to be nurtured. And that's something I always want to speak to for ladies that think like if you're single and you're watching right now and you've really been doing your own thing, like that thing has to be nurtured. Mm -hmm. Ask your ex, you know, like (laughs) if you really want to (laughs) see, Hey, did I listen? Well, am I a good listener? Was I a good listener in our relationship? Because a lot of times you can think that you're something that you really aren't. Yeah, and I think when I think about you, though you've always been assertive, you've been you've been always been so respectful and like even if you did sometimes overcross a boundary or something, mm-hmm. you coming back like, hey, babe, I'm sorry, I wasn't, I shouldn't have did that, I should yeah. have let you do the, do that or whatever. You're always remorseful. I think that's why your your reels go viral and me and be like, protect her at all costs. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Somebody said the other day, I looked at the comments. We ran across a reel of my wife and she had went viral speaking to just in, in ways how she used to speak that wasn't right. And and we didn't even know. They never tagged her. And in the comments, somebody said, is she AI? This got to be AI. Yeah. And I'm like, no, she's a real they person. all the time. Right. Um, because I believe that though you're assertive, aware. you know, you don't, you're huh? aware. aware. You don't, you know, you don't answer to me. You ultimately answer to the king. Like oh, you yeah. ultimately answer yeah. to God. Yes. Like you're submitted more. It's, it's more about you're submitted to him. Yeah. And so that's where I worry for maybe some of the ladies that are sort of that don't maybe have. Yeah. Christ if you don't if you don't have Jesus um, mm-hmm. and you don't have God as the center and you are assertive and you are bossed up and you do have your own humility can be very far away from you. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is Jesus at the source of everything, God at the source of everything, even in my submissiveness towards my husband and following him and being quiet when I need to be and trusting his leadership and falling back. All of that is first me, my desire to please God. That is literally the first and foremost thing, because I know what God has called him to do. And I know that I'm, I'm there to help that. And Mm -hmm. I can't help that by being a bully, by, you know, fighting for it to be my way. But to be honest, yeah, if if Jesus wasn't in the picture and I had the setup of just being assertive woman and a bossed up chick, yeah, yeah, I would be hard to deal with. Mm. But it is God that comes in and, okay, humility, joy, patience, love, empathy, understanding, and all my getting, get an understanding, seek to love him, seek to be slow, to respond back. Like, actually try to hear this. If I didn't not have Jesus, like, that would be scary. And so I think that a lot of women again i don't think it's impossible but it's really darn near impossible if you don't have god if you're not really submitted to god girl you will talk crazy to a man you will be physically violent toward a man Mm -hmm. i mean it's just so many things that can happen and so jesus at the center for sure for sure for sure i hope uh i hope y'all take some notes from that this is an iwebu production period 
Hey, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you could do us a huge favor, please hit that like button and please subscribe. Yes, and please do not forget to hit that notification bell. We need y'all to be locked in every single time we drop this fire content. Yes. Also, we need y'all to follow us on all social media platforms at the Iwebus. And look, we will see y'all on the next video. Holla. <laughs>